here on the 3600 of Wilcox Boulevard. This is where we found a report of a body that was deceased due to a tree falling on top of the man. We're going to walk over a little bit more so you can see a little bit of this tree and the house that came onto it. Right now, family members said that they got the call around 12 midnight, 12 last night, about the report of the tree falling on their deceased loved one. They called the Chattanooga police and other law enforcement to help with that area. So far, they say they haven't been receiving much help. They're actually taking the accounts on themselves to help cut down the trees. They've been working tirelessly for hours. The power lines are still down and active in this area. With that, they're also working on patrolling the street right now. They're working on actually blocking down some of these roadways while there's still some lines here. We have some of the family members here that are working and tirelessly to help make sure this roads are clear. They're blocking off these roads because again, there's the power lines down. There's some trees in the area. And sir, can you tell us just what exactly are you doing right now? With I'm doing EPB and the police job right now. And you're a family member, correct? Like, that's my cousin up there. My one of my best friends. We talk every day, every day, every day, every day. And you're also working on controlling some of this traffic yeah. right now. Yeah, because they're not doing it. I mean, you see, like you would think the police would come out here and do it. Again, yeah, this is just another example of family members coming together during this time. They said that they've been out here since midnight working on controlling some of the traffic in this area while there's lines down. Again, this is for a house that a tree fell on the house with one man inside. We know from the family that we're learning that he has a wife and three small children that we're learning about as well. And sir, will you also say just how you guys had to use your own chainsaws and stuff and cut down the tree until the tree service could come? Well, the landlord, he he works for a company. They had a crane. They actually brought their own stuff out here. We had a chainsaw too. It wasn't doing enough of the job though. But come on, let's step out of the street. Uh, but we actually got him out of there. I used my own two hands to pull him along with other family members. And that's me. I can never forget that. That'll never be forgotten. That's, that. I gotta direct this track. Again, we're so sorry for your loss, sir. And again, this is off of a 3600 block of Wilcox Boulevard, where there is a reports of a tree falling down on this house that left one man deceased. Again, that we have family members on this road from the beginning to the end of this blocking, trying to help block off and direct traffic as people are coming through here. Again, it's a very sensitive area because the tree is down. There's some broken power lines and crews are going to be here hopefully soon to help to clear out some of this damage of what we're seeing. Family members are still gathered around here to help and support during this time. All right, Taylor, very difficult situation to say the least, but a great case of neighbor helping neighbor. Tell me, earlier this morning, you and David were over on Hickory Valley Road on your way to your present location now. Sum it up for us, what did it look like? Well, Chip, that was a very, very long drive than what it usually would take due to the different debris that was out on the roads. We had to use some different back roads here and there because the quick line to get from point A to point B just wasn't there. They're advising people to take their time, go slow, and if you do have to get out on the roads to get those essential items, make sure that it's an essential item. Don't try to go out on the road just to see the damage. They are reporting for people to stay inside their homes at this time. At this point, that is the safest place to be is inside your own home. Taylor Bishop, thank you very much, and we'll see you here for News 12 Now at Noon.